turn off the lights when you go to bed. In case you haven't heard, Star Wars The Force Awakens hits theaters nationwide tonight, and some diehard fans are already getting ready for the big premiere. Our John Gonzalez is in Northwest D.C., where some people have been camped out for days. Very important day for so many Star Wars fans with lightsaber in hand. We are on Connecticut Avenue. Take a look. The Uptown Theater, the iconic theater that, of course, was the site of the premiere in 1977 here in Northwest D.C. And now history repeating itself. Here we are. We're calling this Camp Obi-Wan. This is the Cleveland Park Rebel Army. These guys have been camped out, some of them, for six days now just to be first to get the prime seats inside the Uptown. This is Jake. You're among the group here. Yeah. Why so important? I'll give you the lightsaber. Okay. Why so important, Jake, to be here? And you obviously already have your ticket, but why Why camp out? Because Star Wars meant a lot to me growing up, um, showing how good, like, can triumph over evil. It just gave me an entire, like, story I would like to live out and, of course, imagine and play through, so. And it, Jake was just a kid in 1999 when he watched his first Star Wars yes. on the big screen, and now he's back and he's camping out for it. He's not going to miss it. The Uptown has three showings tonight, 7 o'clock, 1040, and then a 215 in the morning. And I bet you all 300 seats will be packed. May the force be with you. All right, that Johnny G and mm -hmm. those folks waiting out in the raindrops today for I wanna, showing. I want to see the movie, but I'm not going to stand in a line. I'll, I'll give it a, give it a week or so, you know. Uh, but, exactly. but the diehards are going to enjoy it. Yeah, and they I sure hope will. Bundled up and spray themselves down with Scotch Guard because they're going to get wet. It is <laughs> raining out there, and uh, looks like the rain will land this evening. So that's okay. some good news. Let's get started here with a look at uh, conditions around the area. Starting with this uh, image from uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Now, why would I do that here? when it's cold and nasty. Uh, interesting little uh, time lapse here reveals a little something. Uh, meteorologist Alex Liggett and I were just talking about in the Weather Center. Just with a little bit of an east to southeasterly wind, notice the tidal pools that form up. You know, on the beach, the water that stays there if the waves go out, pretty close to the boardwalk. We really haven't had a nor'easter yet. As we get into the wintertime, especially uh, January, February, any big nor'easters, we have to keep our eye on the beaches here because uh, that's I'd like to see the beach, the sand, way farther out at this point of year, but we'll keep on top of it. In any case, it's chilly and rainy there as well. Well, and the rain is going to be the weather story for the rest of the day, along with cool temperatures. 48 in Hagerstown and Frederick now, 50 in Manassas and Leesburg, 49 in Fredericksburg, 54 over on the midshore, a bit milder over on the eastern shore, Salisbury at 62 degrees right now. Mid-Atlantic, nice and mild, warmer to the south temporarily. Look at the temperatures far north as Boston, well above average for this time of year, but there is or are signs of uh, colder temperatures on the way. Now, it's not going to get brutally cold. It may feel brutally cold because we're going to have the coldest air we've had in weeks and gusty winds. So by Saturday morning, I mean, the wind chills are going to be, you know, maybe in the low 20s for a while. So that kind of wind and cold air coming here. But first, we deal with the rain all ahead of a cold front, some moderate to heavy downpour still. This is going to be the story for the rest of the day. At some point, we're thinking towards the end of the rush hour, this should move out of the area. If it keeps uh, really clicking along, maybe by 5 o'clock, it'll get out of the metro area. We'll keep an eye on that. But the colder drier air is behind the front and our future cast will indicate the little timing here that by five o'clock the heaviest rain should be just east of town. This is the actual cold front with a few additional showers. They should dry out coming across the mountains. Then as skies clear tonight, not only do we have gusty winds and falling temperatures, but we've got possibilities. We get through Friday night and Saturday morning of snow and uh, some lake effect snow advisories in effect for parts of uh, New York State northeastern corner of Ohio. They haven't had much lake effect snow. They haven't had any snow. Buffalo's had none. Zero zip, not a but. Uh, Buffalo snow drought is about to end here with the lake effect in some of the uh, suburban areas away from the lakefront. So we'll get colder, but then we're going to get warmer again. Our future cast temperatures, these are the feels like temperatures. Look what it's going to feel like by Saturday morning. We're going to be in the teens and 20s, and even by noon, we're still going to have wind chills barely above freezing. So a definite change in the weather is headed this way. Today, 100% chance of rain. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Then for tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, chilly, 48. You'll feel it. Saturday, especially morning cold, 44 for a high. We'll warm it up on Sunday, and then look what happens next week. Warm air heads back into the area. It'll be into the 50s and even into the 60s. Right now, our seven-day takes us out through Wednesday. We'll be uh, 62 with a 40% chance. 40% chance of rain. I think even warmer than that as we head through Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Crazy. And Monday, by the way, is the official start of winter, the winter solstice. Oh, good. So winter starts Monday. And it gets and warmer. Christmas